This is a hairstyle that I have only done once before. And the one time I did it before, I did it in a different color. So yay for experimenting in front of you. Bold move, but whatever. So I bought some hair chalk like a year ago and then I did nothing with it. And I played with it at Halloween. And at Halloween, I went as Harley Quinn and I made a couple of ponytails and I did pink on one side and blue on the other and I waited too long to wash them and the blue did not come all the way out. So you can see it started out as a very vibrant blue and it faded when I washed it. But I hate to waste anything so I'm gonna play. So I don't wanna get a blue, I wanna get a blue stripe in my hair but I don't want it to be quite as dark as that. This is second day hair I am not going to go for any sort of precision. I just want a splash of blue. It doesn't have to be all that much. So I've got a chunk there. And came with a little sponge thing that has cat hair on it. What a shock. And glitter. I don't know where that came from. You okay? <laughs> Okay, so I picked my chunk of hair and I'm going to lay that right on top of it and I'm just going to and I think that might be enough once I comb that through. Yeah, I don't think I need any more than that. So let me wash my hands. Okay, now we're just gonna take all the hair and things get a swoop there. Pull everything off to the side. Soften the edge. There we go. I want a little height right there. I'm teasing. Loosen that up there, smooth that out. So I have my cockeyed ponytail. And now this, I literally, when I cut up one of my wigs, I had a section of hair, literally from cutting up a wig, and I just rolled it up into a column and just whip stitched a ponytail holder onto it. So total DIY. So 
So you can see, my ponytail's kind of wimpy. This ponytail's sort of long and scraggly. But what we're gonna do is we're just going to wrap it around and then wrap it loose and stick a pin in it. a randomness to it. How bad is the back? That's the question. Actually, that's not bad at all. Might not be perfect, but the last thing people are going to think is that it's fake. Slap in another bobby pin just to hold everything down. These are silver bobby pins that you can get on Amazon. And I know you're seeing me doing that all the time. Don't do that. It's really not good. Teeth are not tools. I'm trying to teach myself not to do that. So this is yet another example of do as I say, not as I do. Don't use your teeth to open bobby pins, use your fingers, and they go in with the flat side up and the wavy side down. Even though it's hard to make yourself actually do that, they will hold better that way. That held that down too much. I don't want it that solid, I want it looser. There we go. Stop a bird and flight hairspray. And we have fun festive hair. Great for any holiday party. Cheap, easy glamour. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up. If you like this, please subscribe. And I hope that you have a fabulous day. I will talk to you very soon.